Judaism, we have an integrated part of our belief system that's called tikkun olam, which is to repair the world. The siren of tikkun olam has always been there for me, and I have felt uh, a need to participate in repairing the world. Nursing has been one of the ways that I've done that. As a Jew, I think one of the things that we have is a relationship with God where we argue with God a lot. And having this argument with God, it deepened my relationship and my faith that God's strength is there because I felt pulled through some of these adversities in a way that couldn't be explained any other. I feel very often that I am a conduit of God's love and God's words and God's strength to other people who are in need and suffering. But really, the work of psychiatric care is the work of spirit and soul. The soldiers that come out of Afghanistan and Iraq are finding that when they get home, that there's a huge adjustment. We're doing what we can to bring them back integrated into the community. It's still not enough. Our presence in Iraq is more painful than we were prepared for. Everybody is a suspect in Iraq. The children are suspect, the women are suspect, the peasants are suspect, the elderly are suspect. And that is making it impossible for a moral person from the United States to participate in that war with, with their morality and sense of dignity and integrity intact. Because they will not drive over a child. They will not hit an innocent bystander if they can possibly avoid it. So the insurgents have our soldiers in terrible moral danger and it has injured them at such a deep level in some ways that um, it, it requires a special kind of care for them to recover from that. That photograph is out of Newsweek, I think. It was so stunning that I clipped it out and framed it. The soldier is either a doctor or a nurse. Whatever it is that has happened is over. And he is left with this baby in his hands. You can see on his face a kind of deep compassion fatigue that doesn't get talked about very often. It takes a tremendous amount of courage and strength to face these challenges that these men and women are facing and come home in one piece. What I want to do is carry on my own personal mission that I, that I started in the military, and I want to do it on the civilian side. Hand-to-Hand -hand Contact is my new organization. It is dedicated to trying to bring the soldier all the way home, to help civilians understand what the military experience has been like for these Iraq War veterans, and to create compassionate communities into which the veteran can return. As long as there is love, there is hope. And I don't think that any of my soldiers would say that I talk about love a lot, but I think that what they experience with me is a kind of love. <music>